Hey, I'm Justin. I'm Linnea. We're the two travelers. And today we're in Arashiyama. So we missed the train. We tried yeah. rushing to get here, but... We tried rushing right after we finished eating. We had seven minutes to get here. But that's not enough time to get here, buy your tickets, and board. Uh, but luckily they had another train only about an hour after that. Yeah. So in the meantime we got our snow cone. And we walked around the station, it was kind of cool. They had uh, old trains and places to eat, things Yeah, like but that. it really smelled in the room with a place to eat. It did. I don't know what the smell was, but it was not good. Yeah, it was. I was like, good, get out of here, even if there is air conditioning. But it, it, it was nice inside. Yeah. Um, now we're about to board the romantic train. And then we're taking a boat back. Yeah, um, it was really expensive. It was really expensive. If you're going to do this, take the train and the boat. I expect to pay about $100 for two people. Yeah, but hopefully it's worth it. Well, I think it's going to be worth it. Yeah. It seems fun. We got on the train. Um, it was all reserved seating. That was kind of nice. Uh, e except that um, well, you some... faced you faced like another bench. Yeah, so uh, it's all reserved seating, but it's uh, two people on one side, two people on the other side, and you're facing each other. Which so we is... were sitting next to each other. And and I was like, darn! I wish you would have sat in front of me. So then we could have, you know. Oh, we both could have got a window seat. Yeah. But it was okay. Um, the train ride itself was. Nice, it was pretty. Uh, the good thing about it is one side will get all of the scenery and then the other side will get all the scenery. Yeah, So at first I was disappointed. I was like, I can't see. Yeah, so if you go on it and you think you have a bad seat, uh, don't stress out too much. It, it'll it'll clear up on your side as well. But um, as soon as, as soon as we got off that train. Oh wait, but when we were on it, so there's uh, multiple stops. So um, we were we were stopping, and then there was this guy sitting on a bench, and he had like a fan covering his face. Oh, but yeah. then he moved the fan, and he was wearing one of those masks with like the old man face with like the long nose, and he got on the train. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so that was cool. I guess it was like a picture opportunity type thing. So he came on, and he took pictures to everyone except except uh, us. We missed out on our chance. Yeah. But um, after that, when we did get off the train. We only had about five minutes or so to catch the bus. Yeah, so it was like, get off the train, hurry and go downstairs, run out, and there's some guys like, yeah, go over there. And so we got on the bus. And then we were worried that it wasn't the right bus. Cause because it was so packed. And not just so packed, it was so far away from where we thought the boat would be. It was like Oh, oh wait, I do have to comment that when we got on the bus, like we didn't even think we would be able to get on the bus. That's oh, yeah, how it cool was it was. Packed. But eventually we were in front we were in front, and just more and more people came in. I don't even know how that's possible. It really squished us in. After that, we finally got to the bus stop, or not to the bus stop, uh, the, the boat the stop. The boat station yeah. kind of thing. And yeah, it was a long bus route. That's why we were freaking out. We are just like, this shouldn't take so long. <laughs> yeah, at the uh, boat station, you go up on the second floor and you turn in your tickets that you got earlier, and you're, you get um, new tickets. It's like you redeemed for new ones and it has a number on it, and when your number's called, you're able to go out to your boat. Yeah, we thought the numbers were like the number of the boat that we get on, but I yeah. guess maybe it was like seat. Yeah, I'm not sure what it was, yeah. but uh, they knew what boat to get on just based on our number. As far as the boat ride? Oh, that was fun. It was really nice. It was, in my opinion, it's better than the train. Yeah, definitely, um, the, tra uh, the train you could was do nothing the, compared to that. You could do the boat by itself if you wanted, or, uh, I mean, the train the train doesn't too much, it's like $6. Yeah. So it might so as well. Not, I mean, yeah, if you're it, going in that direction, why not? It's nice to uh, just combine them. No, but no. the boat, uh, it was fun, it was funny. Like, even though there was a language barrier, they were making me I laugh. I know, right? they were making everyone laugh. Like, it's everyone was laughing the whole time. And I'm like, I wish I understood. Yeah. But I mean, they were doing like tricks with the, with the, the bamboo pole. pole. Yeah, the bamboo pole. <laughs> or um, you know, pretending to fall in and walking along. They were doing a lot of cool things. Yeah, it was really entertaining. But what made it a little more funny was there's another uh, boat right behind us and they're doing exactly the same thing. Yeah, so it's like, oh, they just pretended to fall in. Turn Let's around. look back. Oh, look at them, they're falling into you. <laughs> it was also, I, I was surprised at how like bumpy it was when we'd go down oh, the, it was just I was surprised up about water. The, the water we went through in general. You would go down through like, Semi, not like rapid, steep kind of little little hill things. But it was fun when we did. Everyone would stick up their phones up to record it. Yeah. Um, but oh, 
that must be so hard there's three people there's um two in the front one is with the bamboo pole like guiding it the other person's rowing and i think someone in the back is kind of like redirecting it too yeah i think they're like steering in the back and the two people in the front are rowing yeah it's it was crazy the amount of effort it takes to guide the boat especially with how fast it would go um sometimes and avoiding all the rocks so oh. i guess it's to it's totally worth it with, with what they're doing for us yeah oh, definitely also there's a shop on the water oh <laughs> They, they, a boat pulls up next to you yeah. and they have like the food in front of they them and they're cooking. beer and like cookies. And yeah, they were cooking squid stuff on there. She had like a pan. She was like, not a pan, like a flat like oh, oven kind of surface. And like she was cutting it up and oh man, it was yeah. crazy. Uh, Lene actually bought some... Uh, dango? A dango. Which we yeah. didn't know what it was before, but I think it's something like mochi. Yeah, it was it was actually really good. Yeah, I was really scared. I, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna get anything. And then this little girl got it in front of us, and it looked good. But I was like, Ugh, like, <laughs> but I was like, okay, well, this is probably the only time we're gonna see it like this. I might as well try it. I haven't really seen it anywhere else. And it was, how can you not buy something from a, a boat from store? From a boat store, yeah. Um, when does that opportunity come up? I know. But anyways, it was actually really good. Um, I don't really like squishy things, but the flavor around it, I don't know what that was. It was yeah, it was she just good, ended though. up eating the yeah, outside like, um, of um, each um, of them. Um, yeah, but it was good. And so we got off the boat. And now and we're just we're uh, here. sitting. Well, we're like, um, I don't know, we're pretty close to where we started originally when we got here. Yeah. It is a bit of a walk to get back over there. But it's really nice here too. No, it's really nice and it's a cool place to stop too. Yeah, they have more boats. People are on like the little paddle boat things and playing in the water a little bit. They have like a bunch of little baby fish there. But so. I think uh, if you're in Kyoto and you go to Rashiyama... Even if you have time. And how long time, was that? Like two hours? Like an hour or an two hour? hours? I don't know. It was but, long time. My butt actually started getting tired. I was like, oh, I'm gonna get off of here. <laughs> but yeah, if you have the opportunity and you're fine with the $40 price tag on it, I think it's definitely yeah. something to do. They're funny. If you know Japanese, that's even better. <laughs> yeah. After the boat ride, we walked to the bamboo forest. Yeah, mainly because it uh, looks like everything else is closing. Like the main street, all the shops are shutting down, the temples are closing their gates, mm -hmm. and the bamboo forest, uh, I think it's always open. Yeah, well, we figured it'd be less busy since everyone's um, going home, since things are closing. And it definitely is. There's hardly anybody walking around. So if you want a good photo in the bamboo forest, good time to go after closing. After the temples are, have yeah. closed, yeah. And uh, we did find this one um, That's temple. open type thing. And it's, there's no cost to it either. So that's kind of nice, but um, since everything else is closing, we're just walking around the bamboo forest and probably gonna head home after this. If you liked our video, give us a thumbs up. Or if you'd like to see more of our videos, you can click here to see our last video. And if you want to keep updated with future videos, subscribe below.